Alright then guys, how's it going? JT Judgment here and welcome back to another Legend review in FIFA 15 Ultimate Team. Today we're going to be taking a look at the 88 rated Portuguese legend Rui Costa. Now I know a lot of you guys have been requesting this review for quite some time now so I just want to quickly apologise for this review taking so long to be uploaded basically. Um, a few days ago I spoke to someone who was willing to let me use their account for uh, uh, Marco Van Basten the review. Then I found out that he had Rui Costa on the account as well so you know I asked him and he said yeah go for it let me review uh, Rui Costa as well uh, so massive massive shout out to him a link is going to be down below in the description taking you to his Twitter account it would be absolutely awesome if you went over there uh, I'd say a massive thank you uh, to him that would be absolutely awesome now Rui Costa last year in FIFA 14 was one of my favorite legends you know I could go into every single game knowing that he was going to perform awesome that is the sort of player that he was for me FIFA 15 fortunately guys I'm really really glad to tell you that there is hardly any difference to the amount of enjoyment that I had using Rui Costa from game one to game whatever the last game was I think it was about 15 or 16 games played with uh, with Rui Costa every single game that I played he got involved uh, pretty much more uh, than anybody else in the you know the rest of the team uh, and he got involved throughout the whole game every single game and that's what I loved about him you know going through uh, Rui Costa's minuses because there's only two or three um, one of the main ones is that his physical uh, attributes aren't the greatest and he is pretty weak in game guys so it doesn't really take that much to muscle him off the ball but if you use him to his advantages which I will get onto in just a second uh, it shouldn't really be too much of a problem just keep it in mind guys he really isn't the strongest uh, of attacking midfielders and the other minus that I did find is is that his aerial ability isn't the greatest you know if you're you know kicking the ball up from a goal kick or something or if you're hitting the ball in from a corner Ruby Costa is not the sort of center attacking midfielder that is going to get his head to the ball or at least he wasn't for me so if you like your your center attacking midfielders to be you know good in the air for some reason then Ruby Costa is not going to fit the bill for you pretty much anything else that I found with Ruby Costa is a plus his pace is awesome I believe his 84 pace on the card he felt slightly quicker than that for me it's the burst of acceleration uh, I felt more than sprint speed he's got good sprint speed but you know as soon as you hit the right trigger you feel uh, an amazing burst of acceleration uh, with Rui Costa very very rare to see uh, in Ultimate Team and I've used a lot of fast players so for someone to have the amount of pace that Rui Costa has and for him to have such an awesome burst Burst of acceleration is very very nice to see one of the most awesome things that I loved about this card though guys is that his shot is unbelievable now if you play like me you like taking long shots especially with your center attacking midfielders it's one of the most important things to have in a center attacking midfielder is an awesome shot from a distance and Rui Costa's shooting from a distance is absolutely fantastic with either foot I've got to say that as well guys he did he did manage to challenge a lot of keepers that I came up against from a distance using either foot and he's got four star skills and four star weak foot but when it came to his four star weak foot guys I honestly had no problems like I said shooting in pretty much all areas of shooting finesse shots were insane I scored some fantastic ones with him long shots exactly the same story chip shots any sort of shot that you can think of Rui Costa is very reliable uh, what else is there dribbling and ball control was insane uh, with this card as you can see on the bottom right hand corner of the screen is his current card comparing him obviously to his FIFA 14 card his dribbling stat hasn't changed but my god he feels so much better in my opinion guys than 86 dribbling from my opinion and what I felt it felt as though it was at least 90 if not in the low 90s um, is finishing inside the box I think that falls into the category of shooting I had no problems there passing was fantastic another essential attribute um, in uh, center attack in midfielder you want them to assist 
your strikers and that is exactly what he did and he did it very very well he's got the four star skills so you know you can do all your fancy stuff if you're a skiller uh, and one of the last things that I want to mention I think is the only thing that I haven't mentioned is that his positioning was awesome now I did use him as a cam in the 4-1-2-1-2 with a left mid and a right mid um, and he's got medium attacking work rate and low defensive work rate I honestly had no problems with him making runs and I had no problems with him you know his positioning in general he just seemed to be in the right place at the right time all the time basically and that made me love using him even more bottom line guys i've given him a final score of 9.8 out of 10 the boy was absolutely fantastic for me by the time you're watching this video his price have probably risen by quite a lot i mean as of making this review he does go for around about the 1.2 uh, million coin mark i do believe round about that area i gotta say he is definitely worth it though guys for those of you that watch a lot of my reviews you will know exactly how i feel about player prices um and if a player is worth more than 2 million coins I very rarely say they are worth it because 2 million plus for a single player is crazy when you think of the possibilities uh, and the amount of teams that you could make using that amount of coins but Rui Costa played like a player that should be worth 1.2 million coins in my opinion he was absolutely fantastic definitely deserves the 9.8 out of 10 if you've got the coins and you need him for a team my opinion guys definitely buy him he is definitely worth it and that's going to wrap up this Rui Costa review let me know in the comment section down below if you agree or disagree with this review if you agreed and it did help you decide whether or not to buy him yourself then a like is greatly appreciated subscribe for more legend reviews to come very very soon and as always from me guys please take care and I will see you all next time. Ta-da guys!